The second figure I got from my wish order, the company will be in the description if you want to check them out, get this figure or any of the other ones I have, is Knuckles. The first thing I'm going to point out, because this is actually kind of bothersome. Look at his eyes on an official figure, and then look at his eyes on the bootleg figure. Why does he have a mono eye like Sonic? When he's never really been portrayed to have anything like that. This head mold is strange in general, which I'll point out as we go along. Such as how his muzzle kind of starts really far away from the torso. You can see the, you can kind of see the line. The torso starts here, but then the muzzle starts like up here. So it's kind of like a pretty big gap. You can see here, you can see exactly where the muzzle stops, which is strange because if I bring Sonic in, you can see the muzzle's supposed to go a bit further back than that, so it just feels like Knuckles' head is really far forward. His quills also seem really short. See, on the back of Knuckles' head, his middle quill is supposed to be a bit higher up than the other ones to give room for his tail to come through, but none of his quills go anywhere down near his tail. And they're all just kind of the same length the whole way around. And I can't expect them to go all the way down to the tail because that would be a bit too long. However, I feel like as they are, it's a little too short. They look fine. I don't mind them. Uh, it allows for his head to be able to turn in any way you want, really. Which is more than a lot of official figures can say. Knuckles' overall design, I think, is really simple. The torso has nothing really but the crescent moon shape on it. But... It's printed really well, it's not too low down, it's aligned well, so I can't complain about that, it is really accurate. He has arm printing for some reason, I don't know why, because clearly it's supposed to represent his gloves cuffs, but his gloves already have the cuffs molded into them, you can see right there. So I would have had these arms just be regular red, I think that might have looked a little bit better. See, this is how his arms would look, they were unprinted red, and I think that looks a lot better. Back torso printing, there's not much to talk about, it's just the tail that continues down to the back of his legs. And as for the leg printing, it's really simple, you should have a green strip going around, a yellow strip going down, a white strip at the bottom. He has very simple shoe design, although I do really like how right here, on like, kind of the tips of his toes, that's metallic printing. That is shiny, if you hold it to light, that will reflect it. Which, for a bootleg company to have reflective metallic printing like this, I think that's actually really cool. The printing in general on this guy is just really good, I think. Everything is aligned well. Everything just looks good. It's very vibrant. The molds for his fists are so good. It honestly, the printing and the fist molds, they make up for the head completely. The head isn't perfect, but the body is just really, really good. And then for comparison, here's Sonic next to Knuckles. I think they look pretty good together, but it's not really complete unless you bring Tails out too. You can get both of these guys, Tails and Knuckles from the same company. Sonic from the official Lego set. And... Yeah, having these three together looks really cool, they look complete. And I think that concludes looking at the knuckles so i think that pretty much concludes my look at the knuckles figure i have two more of these coming out over the next couple days so look forward to them and i'll see you guys whenever they're up